Okay, here we are, folks, continuing our journey. I'm here. Yes, you are here. Let's speed things up a little bit. At once. That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? Hey Odin's chest rises and falls, visibly with each, with each breath. We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. Hmm. You don't seem too upset about all this, Kalisha. Kalisha looks you in the eye. A volatile current running beneath her voice. Maybe you just don't know me enough to know what upset looks like. And maybe I've seen worse, too. Seen worse and kept on walking because there's nothing else to be done. And because there's other people you care about who still need you. Who attacked us? Clan Fathens. Those would be the hut dwellers Odema warned you about. Look to be fangs of Galloway, who are the twitchiest of the lot. They go ruin to ruin looking for fights with colonialists. Colonists. Poor Odema. I think he half expected this once we lost the main road. What happened out there? Kalisha shakes her head. Windstorm of a kind they only get in Air Glanfoth. Not too many people live through them, so it's hard to know what's true. The Glanfoth word is Beowick. To them, it's the God's way of reaping the souls of the land that couldn't find their own way out. But they'll take a living soul as soon as a dead one. Still got yours? Let's get moving. Hayoden takes a step forward and his knee buckles, and before anyone can catch him, he stumbles to the ground. His cheek strikes the time-worn cobbles. On unsteady legs, he claws his way up the wall and back to his feet, but his stance is shaky, like a sailor walking on land after a time at sea. Could, could we maybe stay here and rest a few hours? I've lost some blood. It seems quiet off to the left. Might be a place to rest there. You gained an item, camping supplies added to the inventory. I hate to say this, but we can't afford to stay put. Those Glanfathens were riled about something. Could be we got company in here. Looters will be armed and ready to kill, and there's probably a lot of them. We can't be caught sleeping in their beds. Ew. I mean, no. Please, I just need to lie down for a while. Then we can move as fast as you want. Maybe you didn't hear me. We are gonna die in here if we don't get moving and get this place figured out before the looters come back. We've either got to find the exit, or a damn good place to hide. I believe in Kalisha. I wouldn't want to rest in someone else's bed, especially someone who just killed a bunch of people that I knew. Kalisha's right. We have to press on. We don't know what we're up against. I, I'll do my best. Hey, Odin looks like he's been struck. Okay, let's save. He's got bruised ribs. And I've got a strange illness still. This is a rough situation we got here. Someone else has been here. We should move. What's my stealth button? No, that's my train trap. They'll button. never there know I'm is. here. All right, let's take a look. Camping supplies, hammer and chisel, and a mace. Let's take a look here. Uh, a small shield and a torch. And that's about it. Should we rest? I think if we rest, we said we weren't going to, and Kalisha will get pissed, so I'm not going to rest. Excuse me. Right, um, hide again. Quiet. Alright, do we want to head south or this way? Look at the tiles. What are those symbols? Hmm. Well, why don't I'm I look here. on my own? I've got the high perception. Yep. Look the okay, are they all trapped? There. Aye. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Good lord. Okay, disarmed one. Alright, stop. 
I don't know why the game. Well, I guess it's like entering combat, so it's. Interesting. Every time I find a new. Stay. Every time I discover something, it freezes. I wonder if that's an option I can change. Let's see here. Auto pause. Enemy spotted. Hidden object found. There we go. Look there. Much better. All right, so we got you through. Now let's see if we hmm? can get you through without. Fresh air in here. I think we found an exit. Hmm? Sounds like the storm path too. Hmm. Hmm. Double speed. All right. Everybody's through. Let's save. What you need? I'm here. Just be careful, guys. That's all. Oh, I should probably change the formation of the group. Um, I like a straight line, and I think she should probably be All right, follow me. Because she's the tanky one. I shoot, and he has daggers. So I'll put I'm myself here. in the farthest to the back. What you need? Let's see if that works. There's me in the back. There's him. All right. Okay, so you are probably going to try to knock the spider down. Well, you're going to blind it. The dagger. And I'm going to cripple it. The crossbow. What you need? Hopefully it's just the one. And we're fine. Let's take a closer look at this fight. Ooh, 24. I feel like I did some sneak attacks. Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, it almost killed it in one shot. That's great. And it's hobbled. Please it'll go slow. She'll knock it down and finish it off. And he doesn't even get the fight. I really like having this uh quietly now. Oh, that's, is there any loot to be had? No way. Okay. Let's get all up in here. Let's do the same thing. Okay. Knock down. Blind. Is this per encounter? Yeah, per encounter. So that means that I don't have the rest to get those abilities back, which is great. How can I help? Pew pew. Boom. You weren't even needed. I mean, how can you help? You didn't help. Okay, let's see what's up here. Take that. And let's head out. Food items cannot be used to buy bonuses over a long period of time. I thought they could be used in combat. Maybe they changed that. Alright, so I got 30 experience. Let's go this way. Here we go. Older robed man. Four figures stand before another worldly apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled adra and metallic veins, ominous and looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in the midst is what appears to be a human body. Colorless stone or ash, the other figures gazed upon it in what might be contemplation. From your vantage point, you are well obscured from their view. He's creepy. The older robed man, the figure closest to the machine, stands out amongst them. A thick, gray beard frames a face otherwise hidden beneath a metallic mask. His faded robes are embroidered with a runic language unlike anything you've ever seen, and he wears a strange black headdress with two protrusions that jut out like wings from some malevolent creature. Oathbinder, bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolute. The key is capitalized. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. And the book is capitalized. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. Hey, uh, he's going to ask them to sacrifice themselves. And here it comes. The great. Oh. I like how they all turn in different directions. 
Yep. And there's those guys getting their whatever sucked out of them. They're screaming, so that can't be good. Purple power. Ah, I love the art style in this game so much. For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet, and the air is still. Then, all at once, it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision, and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land. The pain wells into the back of your skull, washing your last thoughts away into the black, unconscious void. You open your eyes to a different place, another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with adra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. Another time indeed. At the far end of the great pillar of adra pierces the floor from below, its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you've seen, but immense and multifaceted and intertwined. Your thoughts are yours and not yours and they seem to exist before you think them, and they are all questions. Pressing questions, troubling questions, questions that must be answered, or... or... At the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick gray beard and ceremonial robes crowned with a strange ornamental headdress. Yeah, he is. You know this man. You are walking towards him now at a pace that is hurried while trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him, one question above all, and a question spins madly in your mind. And then I wake up. Huh. Oh, you awaken to find your malaise is broken, only to be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits through your periphery, but when you turn to look, you can see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an involuntary panic tick. Involuntary paranoid tick. If this is a sickness, it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figures at the machine stand frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Heoden and Kalisha lie bloody on the uneven cobbles, their bodies twisted, unnatural, in death. You are alone and far from help. Gilded Veil vale may be your best hope of recovering treatment before things get worse. Receiving treatment. Okay, that's crappy. Let me take all my stuff. It's not that I don't want to care more. Alright. Here's the deal, guys. We're gonna go back into the cave. Just to explore a little bit. And the reason why is because I noticed... I'm gonna save, but I noticed that all these things gave me experience. And I kinda want... Hope that helps. There you go. Let's see, 15, 5. Not a lot, but I wonder if it'll level me. It may help. There you go. There you go, indeed. Hope that helps. There you go. There you go. Now, is there more exploring I can do in here? Look at that. There's a door here. What's this? A symbol of a patterned circle is inscribed on the pillar. An unlit brazier sits at its base. It could be lit if you had the means. Use the torch. Okay. Don't see anything else. From the first bunch of times I played the beginning, I did not know this room existed. And I don't remember exactly what the purpose was. This mural must be ancient, yet the colors are still bright and vivid. It shows a procession of Iguathians from the Kith race. They walk among pillars similar to the ones that span this chamber, each one topped with flame. Okay. There's 
there more down here? No, but there is more up here. Oh, those voices though. Alright, so I'm trying to keep an eye out for traps. These almost look like wires, and there's a body there. And a lesser black ooze. Now, I am not combat ready. So this could be dangerous. Not on my own. I have no constitution. But. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Shoot him. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That one hit, though. <sighs> Rest might do us some good. I agree. Ooze. What's this? A pole axe. Maybe I should hide. Be a bit more sneaky. Oh. Check out the ooze. Oh, I love this artwork. The little particle effects. It's so gorgeous. Viscous and oily, this muck clings to anything it touches. Oh, it came out of this guy's face. Oh. A vicious slick of something dark and tar-like runs down this wall. The shapes and bulges in the ooze suggest that something lies beneath it, but you can't tell what. Use your water skin to clear off the ooze. Oh, cool. Ooh. You rinse the ooze away, revealing an intricate relief of a man's face. The sunburst surrounding it has chipped away in places, but the details of his head from the tight curls of hair and the ridge of his pointed ears still showcase remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is empty, the gem fills the other. I wonder if I can get a gem from anything. I feel like there's a gem somewhere that I should go and find and come back. Also, I could probably rest. Choose a camping bonus. Um, I don't think I can choose it. I didn't have that before. All right, let's rest. Everybody is dead anyway. I am not leveling up yet because I want to check. I have a guide um, to being a ranged gunslinging rogue, and I don't want to mess up and pick the wrong ability. And that's why I'm waiting to uh, to level up. How close am I? Not a now? sound. Let's take a look. I am fifteen thirty-two of one thousand. Oh, I have to choose my level before I can pick. Um, not very high deflection. My highest is my reflex ability. And then my next highest is fortitude. Really high from might, but low from constitution. So because I'm strong, I'm fortuitous. Is that, is that an even appropriate word? If you have high fortitude, fortuitous is more like fortune. Like, okay, I am going to mess this guy up. Oh. The Tsar recoils, fingers still warped around its spear. The creature cocks its head and approaches you. A soft clicking sound emanates from the back of its throat. The creature sniffs around you, finds nothing of interest. It steps back and resumes its defensive posture. I slowly back away. Um. Quietly now. Well, but I want that. What if the gem is in there? Ah. Uh, can I sneak by it? I'm gonna save. Does he see me? Is he gonna attack me? Ah, uh, yep. He's totally attacking me. Alright, whatever. Now, can I switch weapons? No, I just have to take the damage. Oh my gosh. What is this? Current action. Okay, at least he missed me. Okay. Wow, I got a sneak attack on both. Oh, is it because he's hobbled? So when he's hobbled, I get the chance to... Okay, now let's see what's in here. Damn, it's not the gem. Okay. Now, next time, I think when I'm done my one attack with the bow, I'm gonna... Or, sorry, with the crossbow, I'm gonna switch to a bow afterwards. Quietly now. Yes, quietly now indeed. Let's see, does he have the gem? Gwythian Relief Gem. Yeah, he does. Okay, cool. This small folio is torn in several places, and blood has soaked into several of the sheets. One later entry is still legible, however. I can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice, and I've got my hands on a genuine Gwythian artifact. Fellow who had it said it was pretty. 
nothing. As far as he's concerned, he's not willing to go digging in some ruins, but if he's right about this gem leading to a hidden treasure, and that's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. I'll head to the Silante Cil Lys in the morning. Then, it's just a matter of finding this relief he was talking about. Alright. Same damage for that crossbow as the one I have. Now, do I want to head all the way? Yeah, let's head back up. All the way to here. Save while it's on the way. I can't believe 20 minutes have gone by already. So after I've checked this out, maybe once I'm done with this little dungeon, I will end this video and do some research. Place the gem in the eye socket. Let's see what happens. The chamber begins to rumble. Stray rocks dancing across the tile floor. Finally, a large section of the wall gives way. I did not do this before, but ah, it's so cool. Oh, shit. Quietly now. A lesser Dad. Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted to hobble him. Shit. It's again. Um, okay, so what's my switching weapon? No, I'm gonna keep attacking him with the bow. I switched. No, shoot. No, 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 I don't want to die. Oh my god. Oh. Holy shitballs. Whew. I don't know how I felt about, uh... Oh wait, what was that noise? I heard a noise. Was it a trap? Minor cloak of protection. An amethyst and some Adra. Ooh, let's check out this cloak. It's all about loot in this game. Um, a minor cloak gives me plus five to each save. Let's wear that for sure. Is, is, did that put it on? Okay, that did put it on me. Okay, great. There's nowhere steeper than that, so I guess all of this was just for that cloak. Man, that was tense. So you have two health bars. You have endurance, which stops you from getting like knocked down. It's like how much you can endure in one fight, and then actual health. Um, once you get knocked down, you have to get brought back up, or you need a second wind of some kind, um, or else you're out of the fight, and if everyone gets knocked down, then they finish you off, basically, is the way to think about it. So getting knocked down when you're solo is just as bad as, as getting killed, really. Okay, so I'm kind of hoping that slows him. And now I'm going to back up a bit, and then attack. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't know if the switching helped me or not. I'm not really sure. I haven't decided yet. I'm glad he's down. Ah! I screamed before I shot my bow. Um, let's take that axe. Let's see what we got here. A crack runs along this wall from floor to ceiling. A light gust of air passes through it. Push on the wall. Use the hammer and chisel to weaken the wall or leave. Let's use the hammer and chisel. Good audio. You set to work. The cracks lengthen and wide with your efforts. But the process is more taxing than you'd expect. Sweat beads your forehead and your muscles begin to ache. I'm going to continue. After several long moments, you begin to see light on the other side. With one final tap, several blocks of stone shift and tumble loose, clearing a gap just wide enough to pass through. You have lost an item, hammer and chisel. I l it's a one-time use only? Hmm. Quietly now. More, more stealthing, more saving. I feel like this room's going to have some more baddies. You know, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be here solo. I'm not supposed to be here solo. This is like... Uh, crap. This is where I was supposed to come with my two other companions. So this is really dangerous. Oh. How much experience do I get? 11. It's not really that much. So I'm going to hide again. I'm going to save. I, I quick save a lot in these kind of games. And I'm going to continue sneaking around. Excuse me. A scald ear. An ear, eh? Gross. Okay, nothing's up here, but we haven't gotten this way yet. 
This is back where, the way we came though, right? Yeah. Is there a map of this place? Oh, there is. Okay, so I feel like I've explored everything. Now we can leave. Oh no, this room right here. We have not sound. checked out this room right here. It's on this body. A helmet. Uh, click for details. Helmets. So this one doesn't really do anything. It has to have a special attribute. And I'm not a fan of wearing a helmet just for the look. Oh, but here we go. Jasper and some agate. I wonder if they're for um, crafting or just strictly for... Um, selling. Alright guys, we will continue this in the next video. I'll do a little bit of research on my leveling up and I'll tell you about it when I come back and we'll continue to get out of this creepy place. Thanks so much. This has been a lot of fun. I love this story. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Don't forget to take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. Have yourself a great day. Thanks kindly. Bye-bye.